Oh, okay, guys. I'm sorry about that. I, I, I don't know. I'm outside in the wide open. I should have good service. I'm in between. We literally live in between Gautier and Ocean Springs, Mississippi, down here on the Gulf Coast. We are not out in the sticks. And it's so irritating to lose video service. And this is why I need internet. But anyway, not going to get upset about that because it, it, it'll make you spitting mad. It does me anyway. Um, so anyway, I'm going to flip back around and try and pick up where I left off. And uh, so as I was saying, these are our tomato beds. We, uh, we lost, I think, six of the tomatoes in this last freeze that we had. And it got down to 28 degrees right here. And we're right next to the Gulf, like really close. But as you can see, most everything has come back and come back with a vengeance. All of these down here that are smaller are bush. This girl follows me everywhere I go. This is our compost bin. I keep it to where that the chickens can get in there and scratch it up because we have plenty of leaf litter. It is, uh, in my opinion, this is the best compost that you can use whenever you get it composted, obviously, to use for your, for your garden. Um, this stuff turns into black gold. That stuff that they sell at the store, it's good, but this stuff right here, whenever it gets all the mycelium and stuff like that growing in it, and, uh, and all the, uh, the earthworms come up and start eating on it and creating that layer from the bottom up, uh, man, that's, you just can't beat it. So anyway, again, there's our chickens. And I still have my sawhorses out here because that's where I was doing the tomato beds at. And uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of room out here. And I, the wife ain't letting me in the front yard yet. I don't know if she ever will, but I'm trying to get out there, expanding the garden. She says that uh, I grow stuff really good with aquaponics and hydroponics, so she's not letting me in the front yard. So, Georgia, let's uh, let's go on out. You want to get the makeshift gate? And we'll go on out here and do a little walkthrough because we're going we're gonna to plant some potatoes today. This right here. Excuse me for a second, y'all. Yep, the screen was dirty. So I've got some carrots underneath here. And I don't see them coming up yet. But this tin being over it like that sure does help. And I think those were the cosmic purple yeah they're the cosmic purples from baker creek these are uh cucumbers i think cucumbers over here we got them all mixed up whenever we were planting because we were doing it all in a hurry rattlesnake beans they're doing their thing and uh i mean they're, they're really doing their thing they're getting up here this thing's gonna be covered up in beans we've already got blooms coming on all right we got blooms coming on. I think we got blooms coming on down here. Yep, we got stuff. We got stuff happening. So the raised beds are doing pretty good, even though they got bit pretty hard by Georgia's. So bored right now because I'm <laughs> filming. So th these looked really good. This side looked like that side did before the frost, before the freeze that we had. And uh, they got this side got bit hard. I think that these are squash, and uh, these are yellow crooknecks. As a matter of fact, pretty sure that these are yellow crooknecks, because they're not sending up the the tendrils or whatever they're called to to vine up like them cucumbers do. So we got more of the uh, cosmic purples up in here. And we just got that just in case a chicken decides to get out and try and scratch around. I don't want them scratching up my my cucumbers. So there's some more. Um, some more uh, squash right there. And I'm going to try and train these things up to go up here. There's my out of control rose bush that my mom planted. Oh, probably 13 years ago. And I've been, I need to. I need to get after it because this thing's getting out of control. But what I do with it is I take and put all of these things and 
train them along the fence row, the top of the fence row, and, and along this second fence row right here. And, uh, and that keeps them back and kind of, you know, out of my hair, literally, and off my neck. So there's some of the, uh, now the chickens got it, one of the two of the chickens got out and scratched this pot up. This was spinach and kale, and the spinach looks great. I think this is the curly leaf spinach, and, uh, and I don't remember what type of kale, but they got in there and wore that sucker out. And these are what we're going to be planting our potatoes in right here. And uh, so me and George are fixing to get in here and um, add some more uh, leaf mulch up in there and, and make these into some potato beds. And we also have, now that was a little hydroponic thing that I had set up for some cherry tomatoes. This is a five-year-old habanero plant. I overwinter my habanero inside the house and every year this sucker comes back and it seems to get hotter every single year. A blueberry that I've had for two years, that thing is going in the ground. That's some lemongrass right there. And uh and yep, it looks like it's gonna looks like it's gonna come back. So we just we just gave it a haircut and you can see some green shoots coming back up. So it's gonna come back, that's getting in the ground. This is another lemongrass. We gave it a haircut and it's coming back as well. Overwinter does inside the sunroom too. Winter kiwi. This is cabbage. This is gonna be going into a hydroponic system that I'm in the process of setting up. Not gonna show y'all that right now because I, I wanna uh I wanna do a vid you know, I wanna do videos of how I'm doing all of that when I'm doing it uh, instructional videos these are some more rattlesnake beans because uh, I had twice as many planted as what I have growing so these are going to be coming up as uh, these are going to be coming up here pretty actually I don't know if y'all can see that but that one's already starting to break so is this one and I planted them three days ago this one's breaking that one's breaking you can't you can't see any growth but i can you can see where the where the topsoil is being pushed up these are uh speckled lima beans uh i think they call them winter winter beans but you can plant them in the spring or in uh fall early spring uh early spring early fall and they they do they do pretty good um they do all right down here in south mississippi too these are two, two, two or three, three more containers we're going to be putting the uh, potatoes in. Chickens. See, they get in there and they poop in there. They scratch around, eat all the little nematodes and all that good stuff. They, they, they love getting in there. That's their thing. That is some, I can't remember what it's called. And these are the potatoes that we'll be planting. They are ready to get in. Now, I followed, and my grandpa did the same thing whenever I was a kid growing up. And whenever Danny and Wanda, but whenever Danny from Deep South Homestead said, cut these things and let them scab over, it immediately dawned on me that that's the exact same thing that my grandpa did whenever we were kids. He would cut his potatoes and let them scab over and then, uh, ooh, I probably pushed on that one a little too hard, but it should be fine. Um, he'd let them scab over. That way, the, 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 the heart of the root didn't rot out and become mushy. Thank you, Danny, for uh, reminding me of what my grandpa taught me whenever I was six years old. So... That's all I'm going to show y'all of the backyard for right now because uh, I've got a lot of more a lot more videos that I want to be doing and showing y'all the other side of uh, some some farming techniques that are really really good for people that are living on a small scale homestead like we are. So there's going to be more to come. Say bye Georgia. Say what?
Give him a smile, honey. Smile. There we go. You're too pretty, too pretty not to be smiling. All right, y'all. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all stopping by our channel. And, uh, man, share our channel. <laughs> and, and hopefully, you know, the things that we're doing here and are going to be doing are going to be some things that are going to help you guys out as far as providing food for yourselves that is organic and natural and she is ready to get to planting okay love you guys y'all have a good day beach family homestead out, out.